Hey folks, Chuck here. Why not wander with Miss Linda? We're driving through the Quinoa Peninsula off of the Upper Peninsula of Michigan. There's a little map of the Quinoa Peninsula upper part right there. We're on what is often referred to as Copper Island with the Houghton Waterway cutting through Houghton, uh, between Houghton and Hancock. This actually became an island after they dredged dredged that waterway back in the 1860s connects Lake Superior on the east and west sides so uh, this is a continuation of my last video we're cruising north from Calumet towards Eagle Harbor Michigan right now I didn't want any one video to get so long that it became boring or impossible to edit so basically I shut the camera off marked it with uh, dialogue turned it back on so we picked up right where we left off we are now 18 miles from Eagle Harbor we just went through Calumet oh look at the trees up here real pretty we'll see what happens but right now coming into Mohawk Michigan boy there's a brilliant colored tree up there on the left so right along with us why not wander with Chuck and Linda Anyway, Mohawk, Michigan this is a nice looking little town from the highway. Mm -hmm. Note how narrow and tall all these houses are. Nearly all two story houses, at least. Rather narrow. We don't know the story behind that, but uh, son in law Zach and I were discussing that the other day and wondering if it had something to do with heating them. It was easier to heat a tall, narrow house than a uh, low, broad house. Mm -hmm. Now, I don't know if they have coal up here, if they have fuel oil up here, what's available. I know a lot of places, those were the two primary before natural gas came in a lot of places. Maybe propane heat, I don't know, but I just wondered if it wasn't the heating thing that made them build their houses tall and skinny. So, if anybody knows for sure, leave something in the comments so we can all learn from it. I'm sure somebody knows somewhere. On a fall color drive, we're leaf peepers today. Kinawa Peninsula, off the Upper Peninsula, Michigan. Doing some exploring. Seems like the further north we get, the more colorful they are, too. A lot of trees haven't changed much yet, but some of them are right in the middle of it. Of course, there's a lot of pine trees, cedar trees in here, too, that won't change. We're up here for about another week and a half yet. It's October 1st today. I love the reds. Yeah, they really show up nice. I just don't see a lot of reds in Arkansas. 12.07 p.m. right now. Central, or, or Eastern, Eastern time. time. Yeah, we're on Eastern time up here. We came through Wisconsin, was on Central time, but up here I don't, I don't know this for a fact. Again, if somebody knows, leave a comment. I wonder if the Upper Peninsula is on Eastern time to with match the up with the, the rest of Michigan. Perhaps. The state, the, the lower part is shaped like a mitten. Mm -hmm. Quinoa Peninsula juts out into Lake Superior from the Upper Peninsula. Surrounded by water with the Houghton Waterway, dredged in the 1860s. Made this actual an island, a copper island they call it. Copper mining used to be the big industry. But I think I heard somebody say on, uh, we've done a little bit of research, it's lower grade carbon, copper than what is available some other places. So the main, I can't even talk today, the mines have all shut down. I did learn the process for extracting copper from the ore was by stamping or crushing. Crush the rock, pick out the copper, and the rest became uh, sand. Apparently, if you tried to smelt copper, it 
melted the rocks as well. I don't know the melting point of the rocks, or maybe that would make glass. I don't know. I know just enough not to know much, but it gives me something to talk about a little bit. I'll probably edit out some of these boring sections like this where it's not quite so colorful just to keep the video a little bit shorter. I can't read the the timer. I mounted the clock or the I mounted the phone. I'll get this right yet. I mounted the camera up pretty close to the window so I could see over the hood and the wiper better, but now it's so far away I can't really see. Can you tell what number that is in the red? I don't know. Maybe it's ten eight. something. Oh, eight something. Okay. That's a four digit number. Just that's how oh, much wow. time we have on this video. Oh, now. No, this is a snow measure right here. This red thing. Oh yeah. Somebody told us this is the snow thermometer. The snow. Measure the depth of the snow. Yeah. Wow. Remember, here's somebody telling us about Zach, it. Zach, I think. Well, I think those kids we met over at uh, Frida mentioned it too, didn't they? Frida. Oh, Where yeah. Where the old copper yeah, mine yeah, was? Yeah, yeah, maybe. I'm trying to think about it. Was it the champion copper mine? I don't remember for sure now either. There's some copper mine ruins over there right on the shore of Lake Superior after we drove the covered road. The covered road is the road west of Houghton. That, uh, it's a pretty narrow gravel road and the trees are right up to the edge of the road. It's a kind nice ride. Kind of like driving ride. through a tunnel of trees. It's a nice ride. We'll probably go make that loop again before we leave. Yeah, it could be even nicer once the leaves change a little bit more. They're changing more here than they were there at that time. That was last week someday. I don't remember the exact day. We did a video on it too. Okay, so we're in Eagle River, Michigan. Just came off the highway, Michigan 26 over there. Eagle River Museum behind me here. Just walked up the little hill. There's a little waterfall of sorts down through these trees. I don't know how well you can see it. I'm gonna walk down over the bridge. I think you'll be able to see it really well. But, Got Sparky with me. Hey, Sparky. He's getting old and slow, but so am I. Miss Linda's got Jasper and Lily down there. 
so we'll just walk down the little hill there's a big sign down here I'll get close to let you see try and get close enough that if you pause the video you'll be able to read it as tongue-tied as I get today you probably don't want to suffer through my reading it but here's the waterfall we were looking through the trees at it's like it's been dammed up maybe with like railroad ties or something Really pretty view through the trees here. Here's the sign. And this is kind of a pretty view. I don't care who you are. Eagle River. Yeah, it is pretty cool. Okay, so I read a sign over there about Douglas Houghton um, that he was the first geologist in the peninsula. Okay. And uh, he and three men were on a boat and a stone boat they drowned in this area. And uh, two, of the, two men drowned with him. Two men survived and the dog survived. Yeah. But yes, he was mayor of the port for a while. Oh. I took a picture of it, so when you get ready to do this, I'll send it to you. Maybe you can put it in your video. Video. Okay. This is quite neat. Let me duck under. Thank you. Here's the other side. That's a pretty unique old bridge, isn't it? Yeah. Yes, we are. That's the highway bridge that we just drove across. Miss Linda glanced over and asked me to stop here so we could come down because she could see this from the car. But it is pretty cool. Okay. Gonna head back to the car, work our way a little further north, I think. Here we go. I'm going to turn down a little side road here real quick. Get you a great view of Lake Superior down here. Don't know how far we can go. few houses along the way here. <coughs> there is Lake Superior, folks, on the western side of the Kenoa Peninsula. Okay, we're going to jump out here for a second, folks. Shut the camera off. We'll be back in a little bit. That's okay. Okay, folks, we're back in the car. This is a continuation of driving from Calumet to Eagle River to Eagle Harbor, Michigan. We're right on the shore of Lake Superior here. I'll probably edit a little bit of that out with some markers so I can find the right clip. 
This was the place. Nice. Yep. Oh, is that guy swimming? Looks like he might be waiting, I'm not sure. Oh, no overnight camping. Okay. I see. Oh, this is just all a day use area. Cool. Here we are back at the highway, Eagle Harbor 8, Copper Harbor 22, the sign says. This kind of reminds me in some ways of Highway 101. Highway 1, 101, Pacific Coast Highway. Every once in a while we see water through the trees on our left. Just a narrow winding road along the coast. We did that trip on motorcycles a few years back. I think we've run the air conditioner since we got here. Cool nights, warm days. I like it a lot. It's Lake Superior on our left. Yeah, is that a ship out there? I think it is. Uh, uh, might be. I think it's not from a different looks like it. I think it, it is, yeah. Huh. Look at that. I saw it from back there, but you couldn't. I couldn't really we're tell. We're closer oh, now. Oh, wow. You got a sand beach up here. That's cool. Yeah. This might be the sand Ship of some kind out there. Yeah. Great Sand Bay, the sign just said there. Looks like that beach wraps around quite a bit of it. somebody in exchange this guy gave him three lots right on the lake well these lakefront lots weren't worth much of nothing back in the 70s when he did the work 80s you know because McCall wasn't like a destination place but now how many years later when I lived there it was in the 90s McCall was turning into a very popular place people had summer homes and it, there was a nice uh, ski area up there Brundage Mountain and that those you know $200 lots were worth considerably more so the guy really made out oh I like that let's take a picture along here if we may just pull over here and um, I can just go right out just because there's rocks out there. okay we stopped briefly here Cat Harbor it says Linda took a quick pick. I will put these on our Facebook page, Why Not Wander, um, of the pictures I take up here. As well, and Chuck will put the link to the YouTube videos, so if you want to see the still pictures I took, as well as the videos, um, you can. Driving the coastline, Lake Superior, between... Calumet and Eagle Harbor, Michigan. Nice sunny day. It's 101 on the clock, October 1st, 2021. I am, I just never knew that there, this is a silly thing, but like the rock. 
rocks are out in the middle of the lake. I'm surprised to see that. Yeah, I'm just surprised to see that. Monumental is like Big Sur. Yeah, right. It's still kind of scenic. Yeah, stop that, Jasper. You too. Quit it. Our dogs are like kids. The boys are grumbling. Jasper, stop it. picture of a lighthouse down mm -hmm. here. The Eagle Kenwood Harbor Lighthouse. Turn left onto Michigan. Signs here says Kenawa County Historical Society is saving the Eagle Harbor Light Station by rehabilitating the wood windows, improving the interior ventilation system. Oh wow. Parking. Okay. I don't think you can drive up there, but I think the lighthouse is over well, here. Oh, that is the lighthouse. Right oh, there it is. The, right there's the light. Yeah, okay. Stewards of the future. Parking for lighthouse, visitors only. Oh, yeah, you have to pay to get in there. There's okay, the I got it. We can go. Okay, we'll turn around here so we have that in the camera. Oh. Out the front oh window, gosh. too, so we'll be on our video. Right there oh. is the Eagle Harbor Lighthouse. These dogs. I'll bet they left because they couldn't take their dog. The lady had her dog. really pretty up there and the leaves really change. Yeah. This one's really nice when you see a hill. The hill down by the park is really changing where I took with the flag the other day. Mm -hmm. Well, I think we're going to venture on to Copper Harbor and the Harbor House for lunch get out of here. I'm going to shut this video off. I'm going to change batteries in the camera. We'll restart another video for the drive to Copper Harbor. Thank you all for watching. Be safe. Have a great day. I will see you on the next video, which will be starting shortly.